Drug testing is something that most of the working class undergoes during the hiring process. It's random, but usually I get drug tested about every two months. Welfare recipients, however, are not drug tested before receiving government subsidies. In the hope of protecting taxpayer dollars and helping people with drug problems, House Bill 208 came about. It's something that, that I think resonates with taxpayers, you know, the hardworking folks who are out there uh, working hard every day. If you have to get a, a, have a drug test to, to get a job, why shouldn't you have to get a drug test to get, uh, you know, government assistance? Bowling Green State Representative Jim DeCesare went on to say not every welfare recipient will be drug tested. Only those whose social workers believe are under the influence of drugs will be screened. If results are positive, those welfare recipients will not immediately lose benefits. There would actually be, a, a, I think, a 30-day uh, window where they would be retested, and if they're still positive, then uh, they would have to go into some kind of rehabilitation program. They would still have another, I think, couple of weeks to be uh, to get clean. Employers use this urine test to screen for controlled substances such as illegal drugs or prescription medication. Now if House Bill 208 passes, this is the same test that will be issued to welfare recipients to ensure that they aren't using food stamps or government money to buy illegal drugs. 36 states filed legislation similar to this last year. However, only Arizona, Florida, and Missouri passed this kind of law. House Bill 208 must be passed in committee before obtaining a vote in the full state legislature.